<laughs> okay. And now you can seal up the bag. And Jennifer, you get to smash the strawberry. So we're going to use Yay. a biofuel. Right? We use your own hands oh. to go ahead and smash the strawberry. <laughs> and so this is lysing the cell. Essentially all we're doing, if you think about it, that strawberry has a bunch of connective tissue between all of the cells. So we're breaking up that connective tissue, which is simply allowing the detergent to get into the cell membrane and break up each cell Good membrane. <laughs> 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 okay. we're definitely not gonna this is already therapy. <laughs> 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 Strawberry <laughs> juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> While one partner is smashing, the other person can make our filtration device because we want to get rid of all of that fiber. So you have a beaker, some cheesecloth, and a rubber band. Are you starting to feel like MacGyver? <laughs> Give me a rubber band, some cheesecloth, some, some dish soap, and I will go ahead and purify DNA from you. Now, what kind of detergent is this? Ah, uh, so this detergent, this is a mix of palm olive, water, and salt. Okay. Salt. Yeah, a little bit of salt helps break it up too. So what I do is I'm going to put the cheesecloth around two fingers, then go ahead and put those two fingers into the beaker, pull the cheesecloth around it, and then secure it with the rubber band. This is the hardest part of the experiment, really. <laughs> Should we be concerned about using palm olive? when we wash our dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so why doesn't this dissolve your hands? It does a little. That's why your hands are so That's smooth. That's why your hands are so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You're literally sloughing off some of your cells, right, as you're washing it. All right. Once you've created it, looks very nice. Then go ahead and pour your strawberry cell lysate through. Pour it carefully. We don't want to get a whole bunch on the ground. <laughs> You don't necessarily need to do the whole thing. You want more DNA. If, yeah, if you want more DNA. Try a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Oh, there you go. It does smell good. <laughs> yeah. If it weren't for the soap, it would kind of smell like a margarita, right? Wait till we add the isopropanol in it. It really smells nice. So our multi-use bag is now going to be a garbage bag. So I'm going to remove our rubber band. And then I want to discard all of this material. So I'm just going to take that cheesecloth and then put it into the garbage bag. Now you should have some glass test tubes. Looks like we've done some sort of horribly bright. <laughs> so you're going to have a glass test tube, and hopefully there, there's one for everybody. And what you'll do is you'll use this little squeezy pipette, mm -hmm. squeeze the bulb, mm -hmm. place it into the strawberry cell lysate, and then release the bulb. And we want roughly one milliliter. Do you guys see how much I have? It's just about up to the to the neck of the pipette. It's one milliliter. And you'll go ahead and transfer that into the test tube. And once you've done it, then go ahead and let somebody else do the next one. Oh, it, it bleeds the whole thing. Yeah, this is the hardest part. I've done it enough that I know exactly how much pressure to give. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> any more? Do you see any DNA? No. Really? It's in there. It's definitely in there, but it's all floating around separately. And the reason it all floats around separately, DNA is negatively charged. And so all these pieces of DNA, as they come close to each other, they repel each other because they have that negative charge. 
And so what we need to do next is add the isopropanol. And we add the isopropanol. The DNA, even though it's negatively charged and it doesn't really like being near other DNA, it likes being near isopropanol even less. So it would rather be near itself than the isopropanol. And that's what's going to cause it to precipitate. We're going to add the same volume. And I've got four of these. So it's going to be a take some and then pass it on. Yeah. We'll use the same pipette. So again, add the same amount, so about roughly one milliliter. One milliliter. And go ahead and squeeze it in. It does, it does, that's true. It does contaminate the pipette. That's okay. Marty first. Can we add it to this one? Um, it won't do anything? Yes. I don't know if you'd be able to see it just because of the... Too much. Cause, yeah, because it's not... But you could try it if you want. No reason not to. I'm just curious. Yeah. Start popping. Cool. So the two you layers, you're going to yeah. have the isopropanol layer on top. Oh my God. And that's where the DNA is going to wind up. So in mine, I can already see some. That is cool. See that little bit of DNA? Uh -huh. <gasps> and if you want to get... If you want to get more DNA, we're going to use a process called finger vortexing. So hold the top of the tube, and then with your other hand, with your index finger, go ahead and flick to mix the two layers a bit. You don't want to over mix because the DNA will actually uh, dissolve back into the. So all the powder and stuff from the DNA? All of that. Blurry. You see that one? That is the DNA. Two in the cloud? Yeah. Wow. Just, just, just kind of separated. That, that is wow. cool. So you have to flick it now. Oh, I, I, I want some. Yeah, it's good, man. We did a good job. Wow. Do you need Yes, thank you. So big. Now, how do we know this is DNA? Oh, yeah. Mom, you didn't have the... You take the whole thing. Oh, so, like, so right now it feels slimy. Right, it feels slimy because it's so good. If you continue to rub the tip on it, it's going to be stringy. Yeah. Yeah, if you, want to, if you want to touch the DNA. So here's what you do. DNA is actually pretty sticky to plastic, so use your pipette, but you don't even need to squeeze it. Just kind of use it as a hook. So you'll go ahead, and if you just touch it to the DNA, you can pull the DNA out. Ah, it's a piece of tissue. There's a long string of DNA. I didn't know this one. This is like CSI. It's exactly like CSI. And then, if you want to touch it, you can go ahead and just take it between your fingers. And what I recommend is start rolling it. Initially, it's going to feel uh, slimy, and, and that's because of the soap, right, that's attached to it. And if you continue to roll it in a little ball, it's going to start to feel more like a, just a little bit of cotton or something. Mm -hmm. And there's your little chunk of DNA. So the so the, 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 the big two. This is strawberry <laughs> DNA. <laughs> no, you, uh, it's a gift to you.